Welcome, friends. Today, we're going to meet some of the greatest ancient Greek scientists and philosophers. But our approach to history will be somewhat unusual, we'll be using the latest artificial intelligence technology to bring these great thinkers to life and have them tell their own life stories in their own words. With the help of virtual reality and AI, we'll be able to step into their world and learn about their fascinating achievements and insights. So buckle up for a journey into the past and get ready to hear from the ancient Greeks themselves. My name is Herodotus, and I was born in Halicarnassus, a Greek city in Asia Minor, around 484 BC. I traveled extensively throughout the ancient world, gathering information and conducting interviews to write my famous work, The Histories. This book is considered the first real history book ever written and covers events ranging from the Persian Wars to the rise of the Greek city-states. Despite some criticism for including myths and legends, my work remains an essential source for understanding the ancient world. I am Thales of Miletus, a pre-Socratic Greek philosopher, mathematician, and astronomer. I was born in the city of Miletus in Asia Minor, present-day Turkey, in the 7th century BCE. I am considered one of the seven sages of Greece and am credited with numerous accomplishments, including predicting a solar eclipse and introducing the concept of deductive reasoning. I was also known for my philosophy that all things are made of water. I died in my home city at an old age, leaving behind a legacy that would influence generations of philosophers and scientists. I am Homer an ancient Greek poet believed to have lived in the 8th century BCE. Little is known about my life, but I am credited with composing two of the greatest epic poems in Western literature, the Iliad and the Odyssey. These works depict the heroic age of ancient Greece, including the Trojan War and the adventures of the hero Odysseus. My works have had a lasting impact on literature and culture, influencing countless writers throughout history. Despite my legendary status, my life remains shrouded in mystery, with many details lost to time. I am Demosthenes, a prominent Athenian statesman and orator who lived in the 4th century BCE. I am known for my fiery speeches and strong opposition to the expansion of Macedonian power led by King Philip II. Despite facing numerous setbacks and personal struggles, I persevered in my efforts to rally Athens against Macedon. My most famous speech, the Philippics, remains a masterpiece of political rhetoric to this day. I died in Athens at the age of 62, but my legacy as a skilled orator and advocate for Athenian democracy lives on. I am Aristotle, a Greek philosopher and scientist who lived in the 4th century BCE. I was a student of Plato and later became the tutor of Alexander the Great. I made significant contributions to numerous fields, including logic, metaphysics, biology, ethics, and politics. My works have had a profound influence on Western philosophy and thought, and I am considered one of the most important figures in intellectual history. I died in Chalcis, Greece, at the age of 62, but my ideas continue to inspire scholars and thinkers to this day. I 
I am Socrates, a Greek philosopher born in Athens in 469 BCE. I lived a simple life, rejecting material possessions and focusing on the pursuit of truth and wisdom through dialogue and questioning. My teachings and methods of questioning, known as the Socratic method, greatly influenced Western philosophy. Unfortunately, I was sentenced to death by drinking hemlock in 399 BCE for my ideas and teachings, but my legacy lived on through my students, particularly Plato. I am Plato, a Greek philosopher born in Athens in 427 BCE. I was a student of Socrates and went on to found the Academy in Athens, which became one of the most prominent centers of learning in the ancient world. I wrote many influential works, including The Republic, which explored the nature of justice and the ideal society. My philosophy focused on the existence of eternal, unchanging truths and the importance of reason and rationality. I died in Athens in 347 BCE at the age of 80. I am Chrysippus of Soli, a Greek philosopher born in 280 BCE. I was a prominent figure in the Stoic school of philosophy and wrote many works on logic, ethics, and natural philosophy. I emphasized the importance of living in accordance with nature and accepting one's fate with equanimity. My teachings greatly influenced later Stoics such as Seneca and Epictetus. I died in Athens in 207 BCE, reportedly from laughter after seeing a donkey eat figs from my hand, 